Good morning. Happy Monday. Oh, bless you. That's one way to start it. <laughs> I just picked up the boys from school. Did y'all have a good day? <laughs> Actually, we're on our way to the dentist. It's still in the morning. I don't even have a backpack. I know. You left it at school because you're going back. Even though you don't want to go back, but you are. So we're going to the dentist. They both have appointments back to back. And then we got to pick up lunch for them before I take them back to school. Is that what you want? No, free birds. Free birds? Yeah. No, birds. we're going through and drive through, dude. No, birds. <laughs> Are y'all going to have good reports from the dentist? Yeah. No cavities? Yeah. Jacob, I'm a little concerned about you. I'm a little concerned about your reports because you've been complaining about your gums hurting lately. Oh yeah, but by the way, we're supposed to have a game tonight where Jacob is and look at the clouds. That does not look like baseball weather, guys. Rain needs to go away. Are you hungry, Xander? Double fisting it over there. He, he's <laughs> eating mine too. I didn't like mine. mine. <laughs> I was about to go throw it away, but then he's the whole it. So they have free food right there and drinks and coffee. He's a good dentist, huh? I've been here before though. <laughs> Is it good? Are you gonna be hungry for lunch now? Mm. So here's an x-ray of Jacob's teeth. It looks really creepy. <laughs> Does that look creepy? A little tiny. Hey, do you have any cavities? High five! Xander had like five cavities. He's in big trouble. Yeah, no, I zero. You had zero cavities. Good I job, buddy. What that noise is? Look. It's raining hard. Rain hard. Woo! That's cold. Rain, rain, go away. We have baseball to play today. Y'all gonna Stop. make a run for I'm it? Hitting it. Right? Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> There's where our umbrella's at, guys. Jacob left it in the car, so we got Great soaked. Going, Mom. That was your fault. I told you to nice grab the one. umbrella. <laughs> nice one, Mom. Are you guys I'm soaked? Like on you. Even though it has rained on and off all day today, and some of the rain was even a downpour, as you guys saw in the video clip earlier when we were leaving the dentist's office. And there are big drops. And I don't have my umbrella. Crap. Once You're going to get rained on. Once again, I don't have my umbrella. There's one of them that was on the chair back there. We have uh. the chair umbrellas <laughs> for the sun. We got some of those. Anyways, we have a baseball game still. Like normally in the in the regular season, they would have canceled this game. And I kept waiting for a text message because I'm I signed up for the rain outline to get text notifications, and they usually do it around three or three thirty. And I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and, and waiting and waiting. And, and they still did not send out a cancellation notice. And then at four o'clock, they sent out a text saying there are games tonight. I'm like that is crazy because. Like I said, it's and been raining all day, different. and the fields are soaked. There's probably standing water, but because it's a tournament, I guess they feel that they can't reschedule it. I don't know, but it's going to make it difficult for pitching for both teams. It's going to make the baseball heavier, which means if somebody gets hit with it, it's going to hurt really bad. Are you ready for this game, more, dude? Yeah, it would be more baseball, baseballistic <laughs> if it, like, if you said it hit one of your coaches broke the really hard. It's not your teacher. <laughs> Baseballistic? I think we just made up a word, guys. Baseballistic? Or baseball related? <laughs> That's all I'm trying. Don't look at my teacher's face. Jacob, are you ready for this game? We can't lose tonight because then we'll be out. We'll be done for the season. He said he's going to do what he can to help us win tonight. That's he's, right. he's excited that he's, that he's playing the first two innings at shortstop. He's my third pitcher today. So we'll see how it goes. I'm only trying to pitch the guys one inning each. Like I don't want them to go over. My last pitcher, I'll let him go over. But the the first three guys, I'm I want them to stay pretty much right in their pitch count. You know, I don't want them to go over the pitch count at all. Good eye, Jacob. Jacob, scoot to that plate. Good eye. Good eye, Jacob. This was very, this was a very good experience for me. It just ended kind of sadly. I wanted to keep playing. I wanted to play the Angels. I wanted to.
beat the Braves in the championship. It just didn't happen. Everybody get in here. Hey, John. Good job, Astros. Great season. You worked hard. Do I got all the hands in here? Do I have all my baseball hands? Do I have all my baseball hands? Everybody get in here. Come on, get in here. Watch the bats. I want everybody shouting one, two, three Astros in this, okay? One, two, three Astros! Great season, boys. <laughs> That's not me crying. Hush. Although I did almost have some sweat come out of my eyes at the end of the game when I was talking to my boys. I was I was pretty close. I got a little emotional. We lost. We lost, guys. Uh, Season's over. I didn't pitch Jacob any today, but he had a problem with his knee before the game. I don't know if it was nerves or knees. I don't know. Whatever. They're nine years old. Uh, we had another heartbreaker. We didn't lose in a grand slam this time, but we we just gave up four runs. I think, what was it, four or five? We gave up five runs in that last inning. Yeah. And our starting pitcher went into that inning, but then I couldn't keep using him. Uh, he had his, his maximum pitch count, and we were up five to one when he came out. We ended up giving up five runs. It was a heartbreaker. Bunch of tears were shed again. Um, I did my best to console the boys and tell them that uh, it's just one game you guys are nine years old I did I gave a little speech and everything and it was a tough loss both of our tournament games that we lost had to be the best games that were played at the wall all season like, hands down one uh, game one uh, point loss both for of both. them were one one point loss and we were up by four points in both games yeah and this time Jacob wasn't involved in the final though Thank so, gosh. <laughs> like I said, his knee was on the bench actually in that last inning because his, I, knee, I was his glad. knee was his knee was bugging him and he was limping me. around, so I couldn't couldn't chance having him out there. It was a tough game though. I, I will say that um, they played their best. They played good. They got beat. It happens. Move on. You know, you get to watch Xander play tomorrow. Though I'm excited about that. And I think this is. I don't think I'm coaching anymore, guys. I think I came to that conclusion today. I loved coaching these kids. It was. It was. A great experience, and all the kids, they, I saw some progress as the season went on, but it's too hard on me being a coach and being a dad. I want to just be a dad. I want to sit in the stands. I want to let other people decide what's going on. If they think Jacob deserves to pitch, they think that Jacob deserves to hit wherever he hits, let that happen. You know, I want to just sit on the sidelines with Amy and enjoy my son playing and watching baseball. And, and that way it's fair to all, both Xander and Jacob. You know, I'm not putting all my effort into one of my kids, you know. I agree. I think I think that's going to be the best decision for me. And I told Jacob, like when we were leaving, uh, Xander was talking about he wants to play select baseball. In my head, select baseball isn't really select baseball until kids are 12, you know, until you're like 12, 13, 14. Then you start playing select baseball. Uh, but Xander wants to play on a select league team because he has a friend that's playing there. And who knows, we might, because he has a little bit more passion in the baseball than Jacob does. And now Jacob, on the other hand, and he's like, well, I want to play select. And I was like, okay, I'll make you a deal. This in the fall season, you go try out. If you make a premier team, which is basically Orwell's select teams, if you make a premier team on your own, not me being a coach or anything, you make the team, then and you play good during the season, then I'll put you in select wall. But until then, until I see you giving that passion and, and wanting it really bad, I'm just gonna let you play regular elite level or whatever. Just play to your Little level. League. Yeah, just regular play regular league stuff. I mean, you don't have to play select league. I gotta stop putting so much pressure on him for that. Maybe he'll actually play harder and play better if I'm not putting pressure on him. You know, I, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we'll see. And I'm gonna grow my beard back, just just so you know. Yeah. Man, Brady had another amazing game. Our our starting pitcher that I was telling you about, kids, kids, amazing. Yeah. I I I told him after the game. His dad was like, "Hold on, you're gonna give him a big head." I gave him a big head. I was like, "Dude, give me your autograph." <laughs> kids, good, hands down. But he's gonna be in the major leagues. Do you have anything you wanna say to him, honey? No. Nope. I said Oni. 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 I'm sad that Jacob's season is over, but I'm also kind of relieved because it got really stressful there at the end. I was getting stressed out over Jacob not trying his hardest and not being passionate for the game like the other teammates were. So I'm glad it's over. I think he was kind of getting burned out in it. So. Oh, yeah. I got one more thing to say. The team that beat us 
if I was the head coach, I would have been irritated at myself and my kids. They were and the parents on their side. They were pretty disrespectful. Yeah. And they were they were not having good sportsmanship. Like on the base, we we walked their best hitter at the end of the game to load the bases up so that we could try to get it out at home plate. It was a force out basically. And their best hitter, he hits the ball hard. He's a big boy. He hits it into the out other of, parks. Like, he hits it out of our park into the next, like, the t-ball field on the a, other side. He's an out-of-the-park home run. He's hitter. about my my size. He's a big boy, right? And he's only nine. This kid's a giant. Well, we walked him on purpose. And they had kids on the bases. And the kids were were booing our pitcher that was, auto, that was like, trying to walk him or whatever. So he was pitching out. And he was walking him, and that was what we were doing. And their kids were booing, and they were making rude comments. And their crowd, all the parents were making rude comments. And their their crowd started like talking bad about Brady's parents and everything. When we had to pull him, it was it, it bugged me. But I can't control how they act. And the fact that we lost to them. The only <laughs> thing I can control is how I act and and try to help my kids act right. And I thought we did we did okay. We handled we, ourselves. We did very well. a great job. It was a tough season. Funny. I did my best. Came up short. Happens. I'll move on. Like I said all the time, you can smile and you can make yourself happy, but some days it's harder. Yeah. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite part of this vlog was. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Baseball season's over. We'll find some other things to Not have fun with. Completely. Not we completely. Not completely. We got T-ball. Tomorrow, Xander's got a big game. And I get to be a dad and sit in the crowd and cheer my boy on. I'm excited. See you guys tomorrow.